Hello everyone, delighted to have your company here on 2K Sports for our PGA Tour action. Today's coverage of the Rocket Mortgage Classic is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside PGA champion Rich Beam. We're in the booth and down on the course is John McCarthy. Hello Luke and hello Rich. Hi to the folks at home. Happy to be down on the course here at the Detroit Golf Club. It's a gorgeous property and we're just about ready to set this in motion. Let's see what goes down here today. Well, this one might need to get down a little. Lining up the birdie putt here. This one started out on a good line. Oh, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Starting the round at even par. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Second shot on the second. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Ooh, a 12-footer. Love to make a few of these today. He was on a good line. Can make this one. It's for par. Job done. Let's head to the next. So, no movement on the leaderboard there. Remaining at even overall. And moving down the leaderboard as well. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Two wins so far this season. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Yeah, well played. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Oh, this looks pure. Ouch, that hurts. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. So no movement there. He stays at even with the card. Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Second shot here on the fourth. The interesting choice of the driver here. Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Well, definitely not where they planned to be, but they could have had a lot worse of a situation. Sitting up pretty good here in the sand. Well, just like Lloyd Christmas, you've got a chance. Uh, putting hasn't been the strength today. Hopefully that can change right here. Yeah, be proud of that. Fair effort. Okay, let's head to the next. Trailing by four strokes. And we've arrived at a par three. to be going with the five iron yeah good swing this one's heading up onto the green for sure this putt is from 14 feet oh what a shame that would have been a nice one to hold and that's all she wrote the leader now has a one stroke advantage this has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf the long par four Got to say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. And choosing the eight iron here. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. And this putt to move into the top 20. Hey, nice looking line. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. And that will take him to one under. He's sharing 13th place.
Got to like it. Moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Second shot here on the seventh. Getting ready to play their third. Currently four shots off the pace. Seven feet to the cup. Okay, steady now. Well hold. Let's move on. Currently one under for the tournament. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. Oh, well played. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Well hold. And what a way to jump into the top ten. Finds himself in a share of seventh. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Going with the hybrid. That one's headed right and staying right. This would be a great up and down. those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Well, I think they're setting up for about a 32-foot putt. Ooh, right by the hole. And this next putt, it's for bogey. Now four back after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 10th hole. That should find the fairway. Playing from 110 yards out. Four strokes off the lead. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Well, what a way to bounce back. Nice putt to hole. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. I tell you what, inching closer to that top spot on the leaderboard, things are definitely heating up. Is that right? I think so. And from the bunker here, looking for an up and down. Okay, so that's step one. But now gonna hold a mid-range putt. Well, this would be a great par putt if you can make this. Three feet to go here to the hole. That's half a chance of being hold, this one. Yeah, you'll take that. Well, that's a shame. That'll drop them down the standings, that's for sure. Here we have a long par four. It's gonna take two great shots to get on. Bounce back ability. That is a word they use on the PGA Tour, and that means you make a birdie after a bogey. Good opportunity on this one to bounce back with a birdie. Going with the eight iron here. A wonderful shot and a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12th. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. I will take that and a spot in the top 10 to boot. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Look, this player coming off a birdie on the last hole, getting some momentum going their direction. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Ah, it's a little wayward. A bit short with that effort sitting at two under par currently tied for nine yeah, it's just about three feet away 
Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. He finds himself in a share of eighth. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. This person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Putting for Eagle here. Steady on. Well, this would be a good putt to make. You'd move into the top five on the leaderboard. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot. And now at three under overall. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. That's tidy. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. That's the cardinal sin, leaving it short in the heart. It's, it defies gravity, that one. That should have chased out more, but it didn't. Now three strokes back after that hole. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you handle the 16th hole. Needs to make a move soon. Yeah, that'll work, that's fine. And Rich, I just keep watching this name moving north on the leaderboard. They're pulling out all the stops right now. I tell you what, they're getting an awful lot out of their round. If the leaders aren't careful, this player could catch them. Mark it down, that's six birdies today. And with that, he'll move to four under par. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Well, now, things have gotten interesting. Closing the gap. Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's going to work every time. Second shot here on the 17th. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Absolutely, Luke. Trailing by two, you can tie the lead if should they make the putt. Well, it'd be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle. And down she goes, the long-range bomb. And that will take him to six under. And it's worth taking another look at that one. That makes him tied for first. All some real excitement running through the veins as this player tees off their final hole for the event, tied for the lead. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here at the 18th. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Well, how about that? They get the victory, and in fine fashion too. Hat trick of victories now. Three of them. Gotta say, this player is on fire.